just from an auditory experience, you should watch this movie. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guy. Hey guys, this is my review of Sounds of Metal. This is a film that came out a couple of years ago. It has a fantastic performance by Riz Ahmed. It follows the story of a drummer who all of a sudden uh, suffers near on immediate hearing loss. His hearing goes from 100% to like 80% over the course of a couple of days and it's pretty much gone. And it is all about what would happen in a person this situation, how they would handle it, how he would go about his life, and how it would maybe change his perspective on things that he has not so much taken for granted, but just how he's viewed them beforehand. First off, I really want to say this is a fan fantastic performance by Riz. He absolutely blows it out of the park. He's always been kind of like that side character, but I remember seeing him in Nightcrawler and thinking, you know, this guy can do things and he shows it here. He very much plays against base of what he's done before. This absolutely washes away any memory of his villain character from Venom. Sorry for that terrible reminder, but he's really good. You feel his pain, you feel the stubbornness in him. At first, you would think that he's being rash about it. How the fuck do you think you would feel if your hearing went from absolute perfect to nothing, but you're so committed to bettering yourself? This is one of those types of people that you've come across, and I mean, you find it in mainly in musicians, but those people that have that absolute insane passion that is their drive, especially if it's their drive to steer away from previous vices or things that brought them down. And that is very much with his girlfriend in this film, who at first I thought was Mia Goth, but it's not. They clearly went through hell before they met each other and they were there. And together they both brought themselves out of their addictions into this band. But then when he gets his hearing loss, he has to kind of separate himself from her because he becomes a part of this rehab group. Right. And there's this bit of time that goes across that you don't really know how much time has passed. All you know is that he goes from being very much against the whole thing to being able to do sign language proper, to having proper communications with ever, for the others in the group, even working with kids who are born without hearing. You start to see him realize that there is still things to enjoy. There is still a life to live for him here. One of my favorite scenes involves a metal slide uh, where he's sitting at the bottom of it and there's a kid who's up at the top and he's laying down and he starts to drum because obviously a drummer. So he starts to drum into the slide there's no sound really, but it's the vibrations that the kid's hearing. And you see that, and that starts to become his drive too, because he works into kind of uh, rhythm, uh, feeling-based mu music. I really enjoyed that finding a way around or finding a way to still love what you used to, to do. Obviously not in its full capacity, but still hanging on to what was there. And I'll, I'm going to talk about it now. The sound design. The sound design for this movie is phenomenal. They went to a lot of effort to recreate what it's like for people suffering from this, as well as people who have implements or devices that help them with it. It's haunting. It's really strange to hear. It's very unnatural. You get put into a sense of anxiety from this. You really get upset and feel distressed because you put yourself into that mentality, that that spot that he's in. There are these connections though that while there were parts to this relationship to his previous goals and his wants, that he needs to find stillness. And that happens when later on in the film he goes and sees his girlfriend who's actually changed completely like they're not she's not the same person really like she's technically sweet and glowed up there is a scene between the two of them where you think it's going to be something intimate but then it starts to slowly pull away from that and then she starts to do a scratching motion and he realizes that they helped each other when they needed it back then but the only way that she's going to get better is she has to move on and that is reality Sometimes we're not meant to be with the people who we're meant to be with or we think we're meant to be with. There are paths in life that we have to divert from for the betterment of ourselves or in some cases the betterment of others. And at the very end, the very end of the movie sits with me quite a bit because it retains back 
to something that uh, the rehab group leader, who also was really well played, by the way, that guy's great, something that he told him to find really early on, and he finds it at the very end of the movie, not in a I'm happy kind of way, more in the I'm accepting what it is. This movie very much falls into my Hall of Sadness uh, film collection of Criterion films that I have. I would say this is still definitely one of the happier ones on that list because there are some in that collection that are just downright fucking deeply depressing. But it's a really raw look at it and it doesn't pull punches. It doesn't hold off and it doesn't give like a oh hey 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 kind of hee 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 glitz and glamour happy ending. It gives you an ending that fits the story, the character, and the entire message of what the film is. So in the end, I'm going to give Sounds of Metal a 7 out of 7. This movie is so good. I watched it a few years ago and I never got around to reviewing it. And then on the rewatch, I just noticed so much more. I already liked it when I watched it the first time, but rewatching it, I was super blown away by how well put together this movie is. If you haven't seen it, I would absolutely recommend it. It's a phenomenal movie. Absolutely phenomenal. I kind of wish it got more accolades than it did because I don't know if Riz is going to get a chance to do this again, but just for his performance alone, you should see it too. And the audio. The audio design, I would actually probably say first and foremost of audio design. Riz, very, very, very much a very close second. Anyways, guys. If you've seen the movie, let me know. I'd very much like to see what you guys have to say about this movie because, like I said, it's a very, very sensitive subject, but it handles it quite respectfully, I believe. And I'd be very interested to any who have seen it or know of people who have either lost their hearing, are hearing impaired, what their thoughts on this movie, if they've seen it, is. Let me know in the comments below. If you guys like the review, please leave a like. And if you're interested in more, subscribe. Until then, guys, I will see you guys next time.